Now, sugars like glucose or ribose very often undergo what is called a ring chain tautomerism. Uh, this thing here. And while we very often write uh, the, the sugar in the uh, chain form, in the open form, uh, in reality, in solution, very often we see a reaction where, for example, here this uh, hydroxide ion in the 5 position interacts with the aldehyde here. And what we uh, form then is either a five ring system like this one, which is called a furanose, or a six ring system, a uh, pyranose. And glucose usually in solution is about 99% in the pyranose uh, formation. It's about uh, roughly point. 25% in the uh, chain form and the remaining little bit 0.75% in the furanose position. If you wonder where the names for these ring systems come from, uh, they come from the chemical compound furane, uh, which is uh, this one here, which is a basically uh, four carbon and one oxygen. It's a, a heteronuclear uh, or a heterocyclic uh, compound. It has one, two, three, four carbons, as I said. And of course, with the hydrogens here, which we usually don't uh, write, and the oxygen. And this um, compound is actually aromatic. Uh, it's flat, it's planar, uh, because one of the lone electron pairs of the oxygen actually contribute to this aromatic system. It was found uh, and synthesized in uh, 1880s or so, uh, and the name comes from the Latin word furfur, furfur which means bran, which is basically the outer hard shell of uh, cereals, uh, because it's quite uh, enriched uh, there. The pyrin, um, here is the uh, 2H form of the pyrin, because uh, we've got two hydrogens in this position, so that is the one, that's the two position, that's the 2H pyrin, but there's also the 4H pyrin, that's this one here. And this compound is not aromatic because we've got only two um, double bonds here, and the Huckel rule for aromatic systems indicate that this can't be an aromatic system and therefore it is not planar. So these are basically the compounds that uh, gave the name to the furanose or pyranose. So if we look at our ribose molecule, so this is ribose, and conveniently all the OH are on one side of the molecule. Uh, what happens here is that this, this oxygen here actually attacks the aldehyde function here, and it forms an, an, a, a ring. And if we count the ring, we have one carbon here, two, three, four, and then we have the oxygen in it. So again, we have the very typical furane where we have one, two, three, four, five. And here we've got the additional carbon C uh, H or I should write C O H C H two. So this one here is this carbon here and the uh, oxygen, uh, the hydroxide ions uh, are then here 
uh, in the other positions. And uh, it could, in theory, it could also form uh, a Pyrenos. So this is the Furnos. Furnos, because it's the five ring, could also form the six membered ring. Uh, where we would have something like this. Uh, but then this C atom would be located in here and it would give it a very different structure. And this structure is usually not uh, very predominant, but uh, ribose like glucose can also undergo this uh, conversion where the furanose form is really dominant, unlike in the glucose, where it is only a, a fraction of a percent.